hi everyone. My name is Sarah Nagel Sazisky, and I'm the director of client development here at Park Street. Over the years, we've worked with thousands of suppliers as they look to enter the U.S. as well as new markets with specific states within the U.S. And we have some tips and tricks that we'd like to share. Something that's important to think about is how each state regulatory framework is different. While this is the United States, it's almost like all 50 states are 50 different countries when it comes to alcoholic beverage regulations. You can see from the map here that there's a series of different considerations. You have some states that are still control states that in fact have been controlled since prohibition nearly 100 years ago. In those states, you have to have the state liquor control board approve the product in order for it to be sold there. And therefore you don't have the same degree of flexibility as you do in open non-controlled markets. In open states, there's also some of the markets like California, New York, and Florida, for example, that are larger, both in terms of demographics and geographics than most countries. So there's plenty to chew on in those states. Some other frameworks that you'd want to consider would be franchise markets. So for example, there's some states notoriously like Georgia and Tennessee that are very strict franchise markets, meaning that once you've selected the distributor with whom you'll work, it's very complicated to undo that relationship at a later date if you choose. So those are a few different reasons why we would suggest treading carefully in terms of which states you consider to enter and when and for what reasons. That being said, it doesn't mean that you can't enter a control state or a franchise market. It's just that if you have to make changes, it's going to be more challenging. And in states that are controlled, for example, one of the biggest challenges is it's very difficult to get listed, but then if the performance from a sales perspective is not there, it can be pretty easy to get delisted. And then as a result, nearly impossible to get relisted at a later date. So you do want to consider where you have connections, where you feel like there's opportunity, where your greatest uh, demographics will be from a consumer perspective but also keeping in mind that there's many different regulatory frameworks to consider.